Let's see, chat. Uh, docs. All right. Oh, there it is. There it is. Good. Maybe that works. All right, guys. We're going to start this uh, coffee in time with me. Ha ha ha! Answer any questions that you might have. Everything is going. Okay, we got it. Good. All right, 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 all right. I think that I think that'll work. I don't know. Okay, we're using OBS because I wanted my green screen. All right, so we have coffee. <sighs> And uh, so, if you tuned in yesterday, you notice I had sort of up and down day. So I had a uh, great day morning out, out, out in um, on the lake, and uh, caught lots and lots of fish, and so that was a lot of fun. And uh, then I uh, my motor broke. My new Port X series supposed to be really good, so I'll call them today and get them to replace it or something. I don't know. It's the throttle, definitely the throttle. I went by the marina, and bought a Enduro, Endura, Minn Kota, fifty-five pounds. So we'll see. And come to find out, if you put them on uh, with a lithium-ion battery. If you put it on high speed, which is five, it can damage the motor, even the uh, Minn Kota. That's probably what happened with the new port. Um, so maybe a voltage regulator, you know, I could put on it um, in order to regulate the voltage in case it wants to go past 12.8 or whatever. Um, that's probably what I'll have to do uh, when something like that happens. So, yeah, you live and learn, don't you? You just live and learn. So I'm going to. Um, so I'll look, I have to find something like that. I'm sure there's a couple electric places in town that I, that can help me. Maybe even the marina. I don't know. Something that can regulate voltage um, coming off my battery. Um, this way I can put it on five. Otherwise, I'm, you know, it's a four speed. One, two, three, four. <laughs> five in emergencies. I don't know. But anyway, that's that. And, uh, oh, and the, uh, the uh, Piscifun Ultralight Rod and the BFS uh, Curado. Now, I love it. I love it. I mean, it's it's a great rig, but it cannot um, cast super light. You just can't. I mean, one thirty second ounce. So I always have my my um, my Cajun and my uh, Piscifun. Carbon X um, uh, 2000 spinning reel, and uh, so that can cast the really light stuff. So between those two rods, I can I could do my ultralight fishing. So I always have those two rods. Um, are my tackle selling well over at Lake of the Woods? And uh, uh, I am shopping now for um, ice fishing jigs. So, you know, OBS, my chat window is not working, although I tested it just now, but it did not pop up over there, so we'll just make that go away. All right, and uh, we'll just keep an eye on my tablet down here. <laughs> 
Ah, uh, weather here has been pretty warm. So, for us, yeah, 90 degrees. And the lake yesterday got real windy uh, fairly early. And so, there's no way I could paddle my way back. And fortunately, somebody gave me a, uh, a hitch to ride on their boat. And I gave them my best bait. The, the bait that was working, the coffin bill yesterday, the one that I was catching 30 fish on, or I mean, got a bunch of, I mean, dozens and dozens. That that bait was is just a winner. Showed them how to retrieve it, and that bait is going to be a winner for that gentleman. I didn't even get their names. Didn't even get their names. Hmm. Had a cutest little girl, cutest little girl. I did paint more of my wake baits. I paint more of these yesterday. This is a, a winner winner fishy dinner bait. I mean, that's a great bait. And then I did try this glow in the dark bait, which you cannot see. See? Ooh, let's see. Look at that. But anyway, it's bright, bright yellow, online yellow and stuff. It's just really cool. So, but uh, didn't catch nothing. A little disappointed with that. But uh, my airbrush sort of hiccuped yesterday, so I tore it all apart and cleaned it up, and, and I hope it works now. Uh, we'll find out later. And, uh, yeah, I gotta get better with plastics, is what I gotta do. I mean, I rely on my baits a lot. I mean, why not? I paint them for my lake, and um, they work. So what can I do, all right? As long as they work. I mean, I'm catching a bunch of fish. I might as well just uh, keep using them. But, uh, you know, the Curado <clears throat> is the box for the Curado. I did not look to see Yeah, my eyesight's just my eyesight's just getting so bad nowadays, even with readers on it. Gotta have big writing. Gotta have big writing. So this is the instructions. So I did detach two magnets from it, and uh, um, they're in the box here, in order to reduce the breaking so I can go ahead and launch some lighter stuff. I've been told to replace the spool to a lighter spool. And... Uh, and I think that I think that's really a good idea. So I'm going to have to do a little research in replacing that spool. Find a, a, a an aftermarket company that makes a new a lighter spool for the BFS. And then I'm sure, you know, the trick is getting the spool up to speed. And so when you cast something like one thirty-second of an ounce or one eightieth of an ounce. Uh, you know, the spool will not pull back on it. It's got to be a really, 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 really light spool. And the spool on this is good. I think it's eight and a half grams um, for the spool. But it's a specific design because the braking is magnetic and centrifugal at the same time. So, and that goes inside the spool. So, it'll be interesting to see, let's see what we got. We go after market BFS school for Curado. Huh. <laughs> now you get all this stuff. 
Bait Finesse Empire. Huh. All right. Let's see what they say. Bait Finesse Empire. Empire. Available microcast spool. 21 SLX 15R plus available magnets. Shimano. So $139 for the spool. Wow. That's a lot. They give you... Oh, it's 8.1 grams. Well, that's not that's not much better. That's not much better. I mean, you, you, we're going to have to get in something like 5 grams. Um, new Shimano Cure Auto BFS Spool. Shimano Bait Room. Ah, uh, Hedgehog Studios. Aurora is a company that makes a lot of aftermarket. Let's see what they got. Let's see what they got. Roro. There's a Curado. BFS. No, no. Ceramic. Oh, having better bearings is a good idea, too. All right, so here's their spool for the Curado. Oh, yeah, it's half the weight, 4.45 grams. 4.97 grams. That's huge. Oh, with bearing. 4.15 without. Well, that is really... Looking at the reviews to check it out. Um, Hundred and five dollars. Uh, or ninety two dollars. Ninety two dollars. Well, it might be worth it. Ninety two bucks. And get the uh, bearings. Which fishing line will we use? How many people? Uh, why should I hadn't the sound of sha 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 for my original spool? So evidently, it makes a little bit of a, a noise when you cast. Looks like they want to sell you some line to go with it. So, I don't want to buy line. I have line. So, that's interesting. And so, that's a really good thing. All right, bearings for spool by brand. Shimano. Let's see. The ceramic bearings. We want one for the Curado. BFS is what we want. I don't think they have any for the Curado BFS. We got them for the Aldebaran, which is their high end. So, well, they're just sold out of a bunch of stuff, aren't they?
Uh, I think the the lighter spool. New release BFS ST bearings. Reuse, which is. I'm just looking. You can basically customize this whole thing. A suitable bearing according to your reel and its purpose. All right, so let's get the thing out. Make sure. The right bearings. Let's look at this. Modifying the BFS Curado. Ah, don't rip. Modifying, making it better. Nomenclature, no Clemenage, no nomenclature. Is that how you say it? Nomenclature. Oh my God, it's such little writing. Oh my gosh, it's just really little writing. All right, so we want bearings. I need oh my goodness. Oh, I have a magnifying glass. It's behind the green screen. It's behind the green screen. I've never used it, so it's a, I don't burn bugs. All right, so let's look what kind of bearings we got. Oh, yeah, this is much better. I really like magnifying glasses. Still really little. That's the brakes. There it is. Bearing. That bearing. Oh, here. Look at the spindle. My goodness. Oh, yeah, you can hold it. I don't know how to use one of these. So 6801, come over here. BNT, that's brake dial. Yeah, that's a brake dial. 6777. Ball bearing. Okay, you gotta hold it close to your face. All right. <laughs> All right, so. Well, this is very difficult buying bearings.
Okay, that's for the casting reel. Got that in my little thingy. Forty-two. How do you buy this? Well, that's interesting. So seven forty-two is a four inner diameter. Seven diameter. Well, boy, I ain't got nothing like that. You got to take it apart and measure it. Those are things. Are Let me see if we can find this um, on the internet because, you know, everything's on the internet. Uh, Curado BFS bearing size. Bearing sizing for common BFS. 733. Shimano, 733 and 733. No idea what that means. Oh, there it is, size 3. So, I have to go down here and choose 733. All right, do that. So, to upgrade my, to make it faster, uh, with a new spool from Roro and new bearings from Roro, ceramic bulb bearings that are faster, again, the whole idea is to free up that spool so it can throw 1 80th of an ounce. I mean, that's what I want. I want to throw some really light lightweight with that thing without it backlashing and whatever this will make it a whole new reel I mean it'll probably put it way up there and you know so it has new sick bearings SICs I don't know what that means but anyway they're ceramic ball spool bearings for bait casting reels and a new spool that is half the weight of the spool that's on it. Yes, it will make some noise. I have told you that. Um, and um, so it's a uh, it should work really good. So, hey Connery, so new spool and new bearings for my Curado. Uh, that puts another hundred dollars into a $200 reel. That makes it a $300 reel. Hey, Rich. <laughs> a little coffee and stuff. I'm not really painting yet. I don't know why that's there. Oh, I forgot to change the title. So right now, I'm sort of researching the... Um, yeah, I'm okay. I'm okay. I mean, I'm frustrated from yesterday with, with the... Uh, um, my engine braking and then come to find out um, with my uh, lithium ion battery um, these motors aren't really meant to go full bore with lithium ion so you can't run a trolling motor at a, you know five um, I guess it over voltages it so um, I got a, another 55. Hey, Daz. Um, the, uh, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to get a voltage regulator. Um, something that limit it, limits it. Even if I go to 5, keeps it at 12.8. So I'm going to have to go to an electrical shop today. 
here in town, and um, and we do have some electrical shops. Somebody's going to have to get find me a, a, a 12.8 limiter um, for a 12 volt system, which has got to be you know a common thing, you know. So, <laughs> see ya, Connery. Got to finish shopping. That's what I'm doing. So, I am putting in an order right now for a better spool for my uh, um, Curado and be faster bearings for my Curado. And th this is my main rig. So, I wouldn't do this for all my rigs, but because BFS is my main rig, it's the one I fish with 90% of the time. This is the one that I want to, you know, I don't mind putting extra money into it. So, hey, Emily. <laughs> yes, I agree. Rich and Leo are the number one father-son fishing channel. And I cannot wait until Leo gets my gift to him. Go to the post office. Get the gift. <laughs> I'm so excited. Uh, you know, it's so much fun giving gifts, but especially to children. Giving gifts to children is just it's more fun. It's a lot more fun. So, but yeah, I am going to do this. So let me, uh, I need to create an account with Roro. Create an account with Roro. I hear good things about this company, Roro. And um, they, uh, yeah, we're just going to, we're just going to give them a shot, right? So, yeah, this is going. They are for now. Yeah, well, I'm trying to get my boy to go fishing with me. It's rough. I love my son. Yeah, I love my kids. I love my kids. I mean, I just want them, you know, to, to, uh, I want them to enjoy the outdoors like I do. That's all. I just want them to enjoy the outdoors like I do. You know, this, uh, this um, pandemic cocooned kids and it's just a shame so that it cocooned children and it made them go stay indoors and it's just uh, Created a bad habit is what it did. Created a bad habit. So. camera in front of my computer screen so I'm like doing this <laughs> while I fill out this order form but like I said I wouldn't do this with all any other rod that I do I wouldn't do this with any other rod and uh, uh, this is gonna take forever it looks like gosh Wow I think Roro is from uh, China Because this is going, it looks like this is going to take forever. Look at about. Let's see. What about words? Yeah, this is going to take forever. So this will probably come in in about a month. 
is my guess. This will be about a one month um, order. So, crazy, huh? It's okay. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not impatient. So. But yeah, we'll have a second spool and new bearings for it. Is that pretty cool or what? <laughs> you know, there's a lot of lakes in our area, Rich, that do not allow gas. They only allow uh, electric. And uh, so I just, uh, I go electric. All right, so I am going to place this order. Bam. $101. Wow. On top of a $200 reel to make it even better. It'll be a good video, actually, to compare it. So that'll be a, that'll be a good video. So row, 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 Okay. Voila. Life is good. Like I said, I wouldn't do this with any other rod. I would just do this with this rod because this is my rod. This is the one you'll see me fish nine out of ten times with if I'm not in thick cover or lily pads. Um, this is the one I'm going to be throwing for everything. So it's going to be... This is the one I, I, I you know, I'll throw little Ned rigs for and stuff like that bait finesse you know little you know right now it can't throw this you know it can't well you can't really see that because it's green screen but it's this little guy <laughs> he's a little guy <laughs> <coughs> it can't throw that so that is that um this time of year I mean, it's september now huh it is September. So, September. Uh, this is quite a month. This is quite a month. Let's see, 36 years ago this month, on the 28th, I, I will have proposed to my wife 36 years ago. On the 28th also is my brother and my sister-in-law's birthday. On the 11th, as horrible as the date that is, that's my birthday. On the 14th, my daughter's birthday. Um, it is a very busy month, um, September is. Um, it's also a great fishing month. It was a great fishing month. Probably the best month fishing there is coming into October where we start to have the inversion where now, then the, the warm water starts to shift to the bottom. And, and then the, the, the thermocline, which is that, that area in the middle, disappears and then the trout and the bass they just sort of co-mingle and I'll be catching a lot of trout because they're going to be in the bass area and the bass in the trout area um, in October also October is the spawn of the uh, um, the uh, um, the salmon and with the salmon spawning the German browns come up to them and eat them so that is going to be good. So yeah, I only have one one kid in school, really. I mean, grade school anyway. I know one more one kid left. I'm reading you guys' comments here. Okay, Steve, you take care. Yeah, oh, you're not leaving. Uh, yeah, we're having a good day. I mean, we're doing good. We're doing good. So we're, um, so September is really, you know, it's really my fun month for fishing. That's why I just need a reliable engine. And then now I need, oh, you know what? We'll go online here. We need... 12 volt voltage. Let's 
stabilizer. That's what I need. Voltage stabilizer. <coughs> Car voltage stabilizer. Blue, 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 blue. DC voltage. Step down regulator power supply. We don't want to step down. We just want it to maintain 12 volts. Hmm. Boat motor solar system protection. It's just got to stabilize it at 12.8. 12 volts, 12 amps, power 144, usually for car battery or truck vehicle, boat motor solar. And we want something that can handle voltage stabilizer for trolling motor. All right, now we're in the category. Whew, that, that's a beastly looking thing. So, anyway, that's that's. I think that's what I need to do in order to get my, you know, to control the the amperage from the uh, um, lithium ion battery. It does have, you know, circuitry built into it, but I don't want it to fry the next motor like. It's fr fried this one. Um, all right, it's just simple red black. Uh, it's got to be able to deliver output voltages in even 12 on that one. Have you guys ever used a voltage stabilizer? Well, I the 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 uh, a lead acid battery rich, it just it 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 fades. It doesn't last as long, and so lithium ion batteries last a lot longer, a lot longer, like three times longer. And the last thing I want, and I've had a lead acid battery, it's left me stranded because it's just run out of power. After about half, then it starts to drop in its output. And then I'm just like, you know, a snail's, and on a windy day, it's just ridiculous. It's, it's worthless. And so that's why I went with a lithium ion battery. Um, but I need to stabilize that voltage um, because if I draw more out, it may fry it again. So we need to, uh, there are, you know, Automatic step up, down, regulator stabilizer. Uh, 12B stabilizer for trolling motors. So the uh, okay, none of those, none of those, none of those. We want twelve volt stabilizer for now. Nah, it's got all this other crud. We want the an electrical stabilizer, not a physical stabilizer. Uh, ah, people, that is so stupid. Let's go back to where I was, because this is the right category. I'm not an electrician. See, that's it. Huh? 
my brain's just broken. Um, so it's got an output of 12 volts. And, you know, I need to make sure it's got good amperage output. Uh, stabilizer is 12 volt to 5 amp. Buck booster power converted 12 volts regular for fan motor. Well, that's not it. I need one that can handle a trolling motor. And a trolling motor, see Minn Kota. Uh, we need um, let me look at my specs. And you see how much uh, the uh, amperage output is uh, on this uh, particular. Okay, 12 volt, 36, blah, blah, blah. Minn Kota, Endura. What about a Traxxas if he had it, but I didn't. He didn't. All right. Uh, all right. Where where's the thrust? Oh, there it is. Uh, Fifty-five pound thrust. Now I gotta see. Voltage is 12, yeah, 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 but I want to know its amperage. Um, where is software, blah, 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 contact, installation, wiring guides? All right, it'll probably be that. I got it. Boot size, trolling, install, rigging diagrams. R I know, and I'm trying to find the amperage. Check my videos out on them. <laughs> all, right, all, right, all, right, all right, all right, okay, here it is. 55 pounds, 60 amps. All right, it's a 60 amp. So I need a voltage regular uh, stabilizer that goes 12 volts, 60 amps. 12 volt, um, 60 amps. 12 volt, 60 amps. Okay, here. Let's see. Does it have, does max current is twelve amps on that one? Well, you need sixty amps. See, I, I I know something. I just sixty amp circuit breaker. Blah blah blah. Yeah, I know circuit breakers. I should get a circuit breaker. Because this new one did not come with a circuit breaker, although I do have one on my old one, so and it does work. All right, let me see. We want 60 amp. I want a stabilizer. 60 amp brush motor speed. Adjustable digital display, brush motor speed, digital control switch now. Waterproof, six months amp, five amp. What the crud? Let me try this. Sixty amp. That's for a golf cart, but who cares? That's a 24 to 12 volt step down. We don't want that. I hate AliExpress. Car DC surge protector power. That's probably what I want. Hey, you. Everybody wants my email address. Stabilizer search protect power supply regulated for auto truck, vehicle, boats, solar system, etc. Bam. That's what I want. 12 volt. 60 amp. Current down transformer is 24 to 12 volt. That's a down. 
we want 12 uh, DC 12 will make all DC 12 volt electronic devices will be used in DC 20 volt oh so, and so on uh, that's a step down that's a step down I don't want a step down can't do a step down we're just going straight to maintain it I want to get an RC submarine so I want to do that all right we don't want that reliable voltage stabilizer to ensure stable power with TSI I think I've owned TSI product before when I was in the uh, LED industry split phase single phase single phase uh, do they have 12 volt stuff I don't think they have 12 volt stuff everything was electric back then you know 110 120 240s when I used to sell that stuff uh, 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 boy this is, good. this is harder than I thought I mean to stabilize Renogy, uh oh my god that's too much money <laughs> <laughs> That's too much money. <laughs> I mean, about the, I mean, it's like a surge protector is what it is. That's exactly what it is. It just maintains a constant output, or keeps it from going beyond a certain output. So, that's two. That's two twenty gold single phase. Boy, this is not an easy thing to find. Mike, why don't you put a trip breaker in there so it trips out before burning out your motor? Well, I had that on the last one. I had that on the last one, and it, and it still burned out the motor. Uh, I mean, it's just, hey, right touch. Um, it, it did that last time. So it's a, uh, I mean, I had two, actually, two breakers on it. So I think now I'm just going to have to um, just have a, a regulator, something that just keeps it from going beyond 12 volts, 60 amps, um, and, and works below 60 amps, up to 60 amps. Um, Intelligent USB port, 12 volt solar. Oh, that's pretty cool looking. Let's see what that. Uh, solar charge controller. Well, that's not it. We don't want a charge controller. Oh, look what I did. I, I lost it all, didn't I? I lost it all. Do I, am I? Let me see if I got. Yeah, I'm subscribed to Right Touch. <laughs> I just gotta make sure. Gotta make sure I'm on with you guys. So my big thing right now is to not burn out another motor. So um, lithium-ion batteries sometimes will overamp uh, and uh, over voltage uh, a motor if it if you crank it all the way to max. Well, you can do one of two things. You can not crank it to max and just put it on four, or you can somehow control the electrical output. And that's basically when I'm trying to find a stabilizer, something that will control the output on the battery to where it will not blow up my you know burn up my and and when I opened up the uh, the new port it was melt some of the wires were melting so this is what was happening even though I had two um, two fuses actually two br breakers I have a fuse I had a fuse in one and then a breaker in the other so I had two 
um, and it just still did it. And um, it's just, uh, I just needed to limit it, you know, to not go past that. And uh, see, there's a golf one for golf carts. That's a step. I'm pretty sure that's a step down. Um, well, TSI. Well, you know, OK, DC 12 volt. Output voltage, output read, okay. But I'm pretty sure this is an AC in. So let me look. You got an RC hovercraft? That's super cool. DC 20, yeah, it's a step down. That's a step down. A lot of these are step downs um, and step ups. And I just want to take a 12 volt system and not blow it and blow up my engine. Yeah, this TSI is a 110, you know. I used them for LEDs. Good company, though. Converters. I do not want a converter. I just 60 volt to 12 volt. No, step down, step down, step down. There's gotta be a way. I guess you know. I guess a. a Um, 60 amp breaker. And you just put a breaker in there, but I did that before. And it still, still screwed it up. If it goes over 60 amps, This one, surge protector, DC 12, oh, it's only 12 amps. Uh, well, you need a 60 amp. And I've used this style before, that sucked. Oh, that one stunk. That was a terrible circuit breaker. Um, we are going to have to find a better circuit breaker. So, let me see. What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? I don't like those circuit breakers. Circuit breakers! Oh, step down, step down, step down. You know, it didn't work last time. It just didn't work. And, it, and it, it's very frustrating. Uh, 50 amp. Okay, here's one. Circuit breaker with manual reset voltage current. Well, it doesn't have good reviews. Don't like those. Oh, that won't, that's a converter. I don't want to convert. I just want to limit, which is a circuit breaker. I agree, Rich. It is a circuit breaker. Um, why it didn't work before is beyond me. That's a 250 amp. Well, that's, that'll kill my engine. Pro nav. Oh, that's interesting. Okay, that's not. 
of ammo. And I'm going to just click on one of these on Amazon and see what pops up. I just don't like that. Now, here's one with a fuse. The thing is, I'm going to have to carry extra fuses, inline fuses. Here's one that's just a circuit. That's 150, 50, 80, and then I have a 60. I could limit it for 50, but then I might as well not go to uh, speed 5. Um, I mean, once I go to, you know, crank it up. Uh, very frustrating. This is very frustrating. I don't like any of those. Those are terrible. I've owned them. Terrible. I want 60 amp. Okay, here's a 60 amp. Uh, Uh, this is for an audio system. Oh. Probably shouldn't matter. Okay, All right, let's uh Okay, here's an IP67 marine circuit breaker at 90 amps. Well, I don't want 90. Let's see, we want 60 amps. Bam, there, 60 amps. All right, and this one looks, it's waterproof. I'm sticking on the outside of my housing. Where's your reset on it? Where's your reset button? Type 1 auto reset. Well, how do you reset it? I don't see a reset button on it. Is the temperature cut off? Really hate the manual. Oh, there it's an auto reset. Do we trust auto resets? I don't think I trust auto resets. How do you auto how does it auto reset? I really hate those. I've had those, I don't like them. Oh, wait, go back, go back, go back. RV remote trolling. Okay, so I don't want. Dang, they don't have a 60 amp. I already looked at that one. Okay, fine. Sixty. Oh, I found one with a manual reset. It's waterproof. Automatic circuit breaker. Manual reset button. Mike, do you make perch bobber floats? I do not make floats. Um... It might be interesting because I love perch fish. Uh, I love, we have a lot of perch. Um, so um, that would be an interesting thing. I've been thinking about expanding my line from hard baits into some other stuff. Um, so 60 amp circuit break with manual reset, 12 volt DC, 0 aught 8 gauge. Uh, I'll give that a shot. Well, oh well. The uh, oh yeah. So I am. 
I, I am thinking about you know stuff. So having a, 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 a you know I gotta have put a circuit breaker on this thing, but my last one had circuit breakers and fuse, and it's still fine. I'm gonna go to electric shop today and find out what uh, they recommend. The uh, electrical is not my thing anymore. It used to be. It used to be. I wonder if I still have my voltage meter, my voltmeter out there in the garage. Probably somewhere in a box. So, um, yeah. You know, the good thing is, if I never put it past four, that thing, that battery's going to last a week. All right. Um, oh, yeah. Uh, expanding my line. The uh, I'm thinking about going to more also a lot of trout stuff, so making more spoons and stuff like that. Um, spinners, um, you know, which would require me to have a new tool to to bend and 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 uh, um, wind wire and uh, create different leaders and stuff like that in order to uh, to do more trout fishing and it seems reasonable in the area that I live in because it's a big trout area I mean I'm a bass man in a trout world over here um, now beautiful thing is that these baits actually do catch trout when the trout are in the water column so typically from fall to spring they work um, if uh, but in after the inversion in the spring happens the trout go deep and you know my baits can't get to them for them to for them to work so um, crappie fishing now I love crappie fishing and I love perch uh, fishing um, I got to do more in the panfish realm and uh, trout I think is the number one thing because of the world the, the area that I live in but I love panfish so um, the perch and the uh, crappie are uh, a good thing for me to uh, divest in. Um, and especially this type style of fishing that I enjoy. So, um, hey, I'm still thinking about a lot of this stuff. I mean, buying this another motor has put me back. Um, I had some extra money, and then, then that take, you know, it's like everything. You know, you, you never have extra money because other things take it. Um, so once they, once you have extra money, something finds out about it, and then they take it. Um, the uh, yeah, uh, buy new boots. These things are heavy. My last boots were Echoes, and they're the best brand in the world, but they didn't last. So I went to the store and I bought $100 boots, and these things weigh six pounds. I don't know. These boots weigh six pounds. It's like having leg weights on me. So, you know, Arnold Schwarzenegger legs pretty soon. Um, six pounds. I weighed them this morning. Man, I feel like, you know, you know, Herman Munster, you know, with his big old clog feet. Herman Munster. Oh, 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 oh. Um, so this morning we actually ordered, you know, new spool and bearings for my uh, Curato. Very cool. And researched. I think, you know, a circuit breaker should work. Uh, you know, but that limits the the amperage, not the voltage. And I think it's the voltage that that uh, needs stabilizing. What I'm going to do, if I can find my voltmeter. I'm going to hook it up between the motor and the battery. And then I'm just going to 
run it up and, and notice the voltage changes on it. And if it gets to, you know, at five, if the voltage goes up past 12.8, which is safe, then um, you know, I know I got to do something like that. So, hey, Blink, how you doing? <laughs> right touch with you. You know what? I, I poach uh, perch floats are pretty cool. Nice thing about um, being retired and doing stuff like this. Um, yeah, I, I can. I'm gonna have to. Yeah. We'll do something like that. I could. I can make some perch floats. I'll figure it out. Takes a bit. I'm gonna figure out all this other stuff. <laughs> so we're uh, we just gotta stay I think we just have to stabilize the 12V you know the voltage you know I could put a circuit breaker in there for 60 amps um But if I if I stabilize, it's got to be able to go up to 60 amps, the voltage stabilizer. And that is very difficult to find, because most of these you know st voltage stabilizers are designed for you know accessories, not motors. Yeah, they're at four or five, maybe up to 30 amps, but I need something that goes up to 60 amps. And there's step downs and stuff like that. It's just crazy. Very difficult to find something as simple as that, I think. Who's got another night? Pain. Oh, gout is the worst. Oh, I feel for you, bud. I have a friend with gout, and it is the worst. Now, I've had a lot of bad things happen to me. <laughs> I, I mean, pulmonary embolisms, <laughs> that's really bad. Uh, but gout, oh, my goodness. What poor Walt has gone through for, I mean, my buddy, it's... Gout is horrible, um, horrible. So I hope I, you know, I, I wish the best for you and your buddy. It, it's a, I mean, I, it's a, I, I, I've never had gout, but I had, you know, I've had a lot of problems. But pulmonary embolisms is the worst pain I've ever had in my life, and it's like a back spasm, but like fifty of them on your lungs, and you can't breathe. And you die typically. I mean, most people with PE, uh, pulmonary embolisms, die because they can't take in oxygen. The blood becomes toxic. Down they go. And when I hit the hospital, I was hours from death. Um, but uh, it hurt. <laughs> it really hurt because it's just like any any air I took in, my my lungs would just and it would just spasm on me. My lungs would. And I damaged so much of my right lung that it's pretty much dead. Um, but uh, uh, the way I've been told about gout is similar um, to PE. That's why I sort of bring it up because uh, it's like a bunch of needles going in you and stuff. And it's just horribly painful. So, dude, I, I, I mean... I, I can empathize a little bit because I've had PE, which I kind of relate to it. You know, it's like having, done, you know, pins and needles thrown inside your lungs instead of inside your muscles. So, <laughs> what's the 
Oh, it is. It is very painful. Uh, it's like it has a tennis ball stuck. Yeah, it's it's terrible. Oh, it's terrible. I know. Uh, I have a buddy that has gout. It's just, oh, it's terrible. And I guess it's a buildup of lactic acid. Uh, so it's uh, so diet has a lot to do with it, medication, in order to control it. Um, but uh, like I said, I've never had gout. And uh, I've had everything else. Knock on wood. <laughs> <laughs> we don't want to add gout to my my list of infirmities. <laughs> we don't want to do that. <laughs> oh my goodness. Uh, yeah, these all these voltage regulators have very low amp out. I think these are all for. Um, all of these are for uh, uh, accessories. You know, like inverters type thing. Um, down to that's a step down. Yeah, I'm gonna have to go. You know, I'll order this, uh, uh, or I won't order it. I'll go to a store today and get me a uh, uh, a fuse and a circuit breaker. But I had one. I had one. Yeah, gout is is really bad. Um, and it's um, it's just an extremely painful thing to go through. It, it's it's horrible. And the crazy thing is, you just don't heal from it. So you have to regulate your 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 uh, diet and everything, and and uh, uh, make sure that the pills are right and stuff. Hey, Brendan. So for the the. Uh, this health problem we are. <laughs> yeah. Well, I know those things. Well, Brandon, I, I, I went to Roro and I ordered a new spool and bearings for my Curado. So I ordered a new spool and bearings for it. I had to buy a new motor because my new port burned out. And I think it's because the lithium ion battery, um, you cannot use a lithium ion and run it up to full, you know, at full five. And the, uh, you know, we've got a, uh, 60 amp out. Um, I just need to, again, put a circuit breaker in there, but I wish I could selecting the right battery. I'm on the uh, Minn Kota site, so um, the uh, 60 amp circuit breaker is recommended. Blah blah blah. Yeah, I got it. And. They do caution against like uh, uh, the uh, what do you call it the uh, lithium ion batteries, and I think that's what ended up happening. Um, is that uh, the lithium ion battery? When you crank the motor all the way up to a five, it it may fry it. And uh, and I am, you know, they want you to put a fifty amp. Well, if it if it pulls 60 amps, why would you put a 50 amp? It would be tripping all the time. You know? Circuit breaker. It says 60 amp here. So that's the circuit breaker it wants. And... You know, just get some, eight, uh, some six gauge wire. 
Actually, 8 gauge wire is all I need. It's really short. It's right next to it. 6 or 8. Go 6. You can never go too big. So now, let's see, what am I looking for? Lithium ion. <coughs> onboard precision chargers, no. Onboard alternator, no. What is that? Onboard digital chargers, no, 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 no. I don't want any of that. FAQs. You should not run your motor at its highest speed. Stay at 8.5 or lower, 85% or lower on lithium ion batteries. Print this when damaged when using lithium ion batteries. You should not run your motor at its highest speeds. Battery recommendations, 12 volt lithium ion battery. So, required continuous discharge amperage at a 55 pound is 50 amps. So, if I throw a 50 amp on it, um, thank you very much. Thank you. I'm trying. I need to lose more weight. More weight lost. I lost 30 pounds. I need to lose more. Um, so, all right. So the length of time your battery will last can vary based on upon blah, 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 blah. Uh, I want to have a, you can use this chart below. Uh, estimated run time. What does that mean? Max amp draw. Well, I have 100 amp an hour. So even at max amps, which is 50, it would last at full blast two amps um, or two hours. So, I mean, at full blast. So, um, so uh, lithium batteries maintain higher voltages. See, that's what I'm thinking for longer. More motors engineered to make the most of a flooded lead acid battery can be damaged by the higher power output. To prevent this damage when using lithium batteries, you should not run your motor at its highest speed, staying at 85% or lower. Um, so you should get a typical day of fishing on a single charge. We suggest a select 12 volt deep cycle battery, 110. Okay, that's that. Um, 50 amp. They suggest that for a lithium ion is a 50 amp. If you are having any issues with your motor and you are using lithium battery, verify you have enough continuous amperage available for the motor to pull its max amp draw. 50. All right. All right. When using lithium batteries, you want to ensure battery provides enough continuity. Yeah, well, I know that. The chart below shows the max amp draw by motor thrust. If the motor is not getting enough amperage, it will have issues working for a short time and then shutting off. Being able to run on the motor but not turn on the prop Steering issues, okay, yeah, that's iPilot stuff. Depending on the moment, you can run 24, okay. So, 50 amp. Yeah, I got the uh, Endura from the local, um, well, I, you know, Marina yesterday, so. We didn't have the max, but I have a big battery, so it's like I'm not really worried about that. And I have a, uh, a charge indicator on my battery box, so um, I'm not too worried about that. Um, it doesn't want you to run it at full, so I could probably run this thing for 12 hours. Uh, easy. Um, using lithium batteries... So I got to put a 50, um, go to cart.
a 50 breaker on it. That's what I need, a 50 amp breaker. I paid 250 for mine. That's yeah, it's a local guy, so I'm fine. I'm looking at the motor guides right now on the Minkota site, and they suggest not running it at full speed with a lithium. They want it to run at its highest speed, staying at 85%, which would be a four, because uh, there's a big jump from four to five. There's a big jump. So, um, and. which may cause motor to shut off or perform erratically. So yeah, I know that. So what I'll do is put a 50 amp circuit breaker in it. And then, uh, and then, uh, um, do something, you know, on the handle that will keep me from going to the five, but we'll see. Just, I just want it to last a long time. <laughs> That's all I wanted to do. I just wanted to last a long time. I got a 55 pound, which is the highest thrust in the Enduro line. Uh, that's 12 volt. So, and 55 works, but I need, yeah, I get, I'm on a windy lake. So, um, we'll see, we'll see how it, how it all works, you know. Yeah, I thought about getting a Traxxas, uh, but he didn't have one. I was so frustrated yesterday, I probably would have bought a Traxxas if he had one. But Traxxas is supposed to be, you know, have a voltage regulator and stuff. And it's supposed to be really, 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 really good. But 55 pounds is the, 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 the highest thrust that does 12 volt. So the highest thrust that does 12 volt for Minn Kota. Everything else is 24 volt um, on up, so. But yeah, well, uh, I'm looking at that and I'm on the Minn Kota site right now, so uh, I'm, uh, so I may, I think that's probably what ended up happening with the uh, new port, is that I fried it, you know, the throttle in it by going, you know, jumping it up to five. Of course, Newport don't tell you that, and Coda does. And, uh, yeah, I just can't be in a rush. So, stick a urinal on the boat, and this way if you have to go potty, you, you got somewhere to go. Um, but it does get pretty windy on my lake, and a four will still get me, you know, up, you know, through the, the wind, even on a very windy day. Um, is just slower but there's a big jump between four and five if you ever used a trolling motor it is a big big jump between four and a five you know in power um, it's not gradual well the, you know the the AGM or lead acids what ends up happening is that at 50 percent discharge then then it starts to really have a a a, a a uh, depreciation of power output and that's what ends up happening with them where with the lithium ion it stays constant so yeah, there is no fading away of the battery it either works or it doesn't at full or not you know it's just it's a perfect battery um, there is a lot of um, uh, uh, what do you say uh, uh, circuitry in a lithium battery. There's a lot of circuitry in it. It's like a motherboard in a computer inside a lithium battery. That's why it costs, one of the reasons why it costs so much money, because there's so much electronics within the housing of it. The Lossogy, which is the one I got, is actually uh, a very different type of lithium. Instead of having these large cells, it has these wafer um, gel packs inside of it. And it's a very different style um, of making. It's a newer style of making a lithium um, battery. So, but uh, you know, one thing I didn't know until I read this 
uh, is that uh, you, you don't want to run a, a trolling motor at five. So run it at four, things should last forever. Uh, the motor. Um, and, uh, you know, I've called Newport before. I've called Lossagy before. Great customer service on both of them. Really good. I mean, I was able to talk to human beings, get fast responses with them, and they're fantastic. So, I mean, we'll, uh, you know, we'll do what they tell me to do. But I have to put a circuit, uh, you know, some type of um, breaker in there, which is a 50 amp. Um, and we'll put a, you know, I'll go to an electrical store today and uh, put a 50 amp in it. And we'll talk to them about it. Um, maybe I'll call Lossagy and say, look, is there a way to manually control it? I have an Evinrude foot control trolling motor. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Well, la di da. Uh, I have a, yeah. It's transit mount. It's my motor to go on the lake, as you have seen in my videos. In yesterday morning's video, the lily pad fishing, even though we didn't get anything on the lily pads, we caught a ton of fish yesterday morning. I, I said we, me and all of you, um, caught a ton of fish yesterday. And that 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 uh, uh, coffin bill that I painted uh, is fantastic. Now what I did do, let me get yesterday go behind the green screen come back around the green screen what I did do yesterday is that I painted another one uh, but this is uh, uh, there uh, it's yellow on the bottom which you know it's hard to do on green screen but you can see I on the other one, I just took paint and I just flicked it. I flicked it um, and just splattered paint on it and it gave it a texture. So I did it on this one yesterday. And this is a round bill, a uh, shallow dive. And um, I want to see, you know, if it works on this as well as the coffin bill. Now the coffin bill is a half the size of this. And you retrieve it in an agonizingly slow way. So, I have, he's a Sloan. Who's a Sloan? Uh, so, but yeah, that's, uh, so that's kind of cool. So I painted another one just exactly the same way. And, uh, but yeah, well, uh, you know, this lithium thing is new to everybody. And uh, using lithium, you know, it's just, uh, you just can't, I get it. It says lithium batteries maintain higher voltages for longer. Duh. Motors engineered to make the most of flooded lead acid batteries can be damaged by the higher power output. To prevent this damage when using lithium batteries, you should not run your motor at its highest speeds, stay at 85%. So, don't go past four. <laughs> well, still, that's pretty cool. You know, it, I you know, I thought about getting a foot control one, but my boat's just too small, and um, it would be nice to have. Uh, um, you know, like a spot lock. Spot lock would be great. But, uh, you know, that's what anchors are for. <laughs> that's what anchors are for. That's your, their, your, your archaic spot lock is an anchor. Um, but, you know, with all of this, you know, this Curato, this Curato with uh, the new spool and, and bearings by Roro, it's a green box. <laughs> <laughs> it's a green box. There, here I um, I took two magnets out of it. They're in here. Uh, to make it more less breaking. It removes 25% of the breaking uh, on it. And uh, so you can do that. 
and uh, still I can't I, I want to be able to get that spool up to speed and replacing uh, the spool with with a spool that's half its weight and bearings that are faster the ceramic bearings is going to make a huge difference I'm gonna to have to almost learn how to do BFS all over again it's gonna be crazy fast <laughs> yeah I could do a root beer color no problem this is a pretty cool little looking lure actually so but that texture I don't know if that is what they're hitting on you know they're just hitting it and 90% of the time 9 out of 10 casts I get a fish on that bait 9 out of 10 it's just reliable I mean you'll see it in the video it's like watch tink I got one boop tink I got another one so all right, guys, I'm going to let you go. Thanks for stopping by. I really do appreciate it. And watching me go through my rigmarole. And uh, watch me use my, ooh, my magnifying glass. I'm getting old. <laughs> anyway, you guys take care. And, <laughs> and I will see you guys later while I do some more painting because I got to paint a lot.